We have determined by simple experiments that it is virtually impossible through pure physical security to protect the complete range of conceivable targets that, a uh, uh, complete range of targets that terrorists might conceivably attack. If we tried, we'd have policemen on every corner. We would have a real fascist police state of the sort they would love to see come into evidence. If, if the terrorists can put us in a position where we've got to put police guards everywhere, they will have achieved a very important <coughs> objective. And we don't want that. We don't want it because it looks bad, but we don't want it for another reason. It's because it won't work. What do you know about the Black September group? The Black September group is a group which still we haven't totally identified yet. We don't know the names of all their members. Now, I am sure that shortly we'll have the name of every member of the Black September group because all you have to do is get two or three of them in the hands of someone other than a Western security. We can't interrogate these guys. Say, we, who do you mean by we? I mean we Americans, we civilized people. We, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm using... Do you, have any, do you have any first-hand knowledge of, the, of this group? Yes, oh yeah, yeah. The, I, well, I'm, I'm telling you how, why we're limited, though. I say we eventually will know all about them. We don't yet. We don't know their names. But we know how it came about. The Black September group was a result of friction between the organization known as the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, which has done most of the airplane hijackings to date, and El Fatah, which is a more conservative, older organization that believes in literal guerrilla operations, operations of the sort the Yugoslavs conducted in World War II. El Fatah has a leader named Arafat, who now acts like chief of state. He has meetings with these green things on the table and with pads in front of everybody, and, and this just infuriates a lot of these young Fatah members. There's a group of young members of Fatah who are just young guys, 20 to 24 years old, some as young as 18. We think probably no more than about 30 of them, who decided we don't want to join the PFLP because they're a lot of muddled intellectuals. We don't know what they're talking about. And the, and the, uh, the El Fatah organization is a bunch of deadheads, and they're trying, always putting restrictions on us. We're going off on our own. Now, we think they have their money through the Iraqis from the Communist Chinese. We don't know. That's what the lead we're more or less following up on now. And I say we, I mean all those who are concerned with this question. I don't mean we in this 